I just wanted to give you an update based on the rub off that we did in the YouTube live, which is the clone of this pair of pants for the pattern. This is the update with all of the finished small pieces. So we have the pocket bag that goes behind here. It gets sewn to this area. So we have that seam allowance added. And since I'm using a really thin fabric, I decided to opt out of having the facing plus that. So you can see here we have a facing on the inside and then the pocket bag. But since my fabric is really light, I'm just gonna do one piece here. So this one piece will be the inner pocket bag and then this will be the outer here that's exposed. And so those two have the same shapes. I also corrected the shape here because it was a bit too shallow still when I put my hand in. You wanna make sure that it's nice and rounded, otherwise it feels like it's cutting the hand off a little bit once your hand's in there. Then additionally, I opted out of this pattern piece, which generally goes onto the pocket bag. But since I am using the self, which is the main fabric for this piece, I'm just gonna do all with the self fabric. So those two are cut out. Then I have my fly. So the fly we took from this area here and I'll have one fly for the back side that will also have an interfacing on it. And I'll have one for the under fly. But this side here for the under fly will be on the fold. And there's no need for interfacing there usually. Additionally, I made some updates to the waistband. So my final waistband here, I've now duplicated it to the other side. So I have two, so I have the center back fold is here. I've notched my side seams. I have the seam allowances added, except for that center back fold, which now is a continuous piece. And I've also added my underfly extension. That underfly extension is on my wearer's right side. It's over here. And that is the extension needed to account for that underfly width here. So that's my extension. And that's what I've added then to that original base pattern that we created. I also did go ahead and make my back pocket here. And I have that double fold like we talked about in the live. And I also positioned it here just to double check the size and everything. Added that seam allowance there. And I always draft the pocket on the fold here and then just cut it out so it's duplicated on the other side. I've also taped my original pattern for my gusset on both the front and the back pattern pieces so that if I want to ever make this pair of pants without the gusset in the future, I have that and I can tape it to there and then add my seam allowances. Then I did not make any major updates to the yoke, but I did write down my center back, my yoke seam, waistband seam, and side seam. Because when we're sewing that in, that is very important that we're sewing in the correct positions to that actual yoke seam here so that it fits together. All right, so those are my final details. I also did keep this little piece here that I cut off from my original pattern here. And that's really so that if I ever want to change up that pattern shape for the opening of the pocket, let's say I want to make it flat, then I have a quick reference and I can just tape that back together. So I usually just tape those original pattern pieces onto the pattern and I'll just write original pattern. So if you want to see the entire YouTube live, you can click the link in my profile. It's in there. And I'll also be linking this video to the description in the YouTube live. Thanks so much for joining. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it.